Hey guys, I'll be here and welcome back to our Bullseye series creating our first iOS application. In this video, we're dealing with the slider. The slider is going to be the next UI element we learn after the label and the button. So what I want to do is in our objects pane, let's go ahead and find a slider. And we're going to go ahead and drag and drop the slider somewhere in the middle over here. Uh, right there. I'm going to go ahead and move our label sort of up here and I'll move the slider in the middle. Okay, so perfect. Let's get the middle icon. Awesome. So this is our slider and I'm going to go ahead and expand the slider so that it fits the left and right sides of the screen. Great. So one of the things about sliders is in any, any iOS application, you can go ahead and drag the slider left to right and you get a value. So our goal for this video is to create a slider that you can uh, drag left to right. And this will basically be a slider from zero to 100. And when you move the slider from zero to 100, this label will update with the value. So we're gonna go ahead and the increase button is still there for now, but we'll just go ahead and get the slider functionality so that when we move the slider, we can go ahead and see that, hey, when the slider moves, the label updates, okay? So we have a slider, fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and attach it to our controller. So over here we have our view controller.swift and what I'm going to be doing is let's go ahead and go to automatic view controller.swift. Over here, I'm gonna go ahead and control drag this and call it um, num slider. Okay, so that is our UI slider added to our controller. And now we're gonna have to add a function which says that every single time my slider is touched and the value has been changed, I want to call this function. So we're gonna go ahead and add an action and we're gonna say that slider, so let's go ahead and add a name, slider value changed, okay? So all we did guys is we added an IB outlet and an IB action, both for the UI slider. Now, the next thing we have to do is let's go ahead and understand what the value is. So what I'm gonna go ahead and say is every time the value is changed, print out num slider dot value, okay? So very, very simple. Every single time my slider gets changed, I want to know what the value is. I'm gonna go ahead and print it out. So let's go ahead and run this and let's see what happens. Giving it a few seconds and over here, we have our slider, we have our label and every single time I touch it, take a look. So 44, 41, 38, 32, 24, 14, fantastic. Let's go up 60, 70, 80, 90, one. Awesome. Now, one thing you notice is that it's from zero to one, okay? That's not what we want. We want it from one to 100. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and set the minimum to be one and the maximum to be 100, okay? Now, the value feature over here basically asks, where do you want the slider to start off at? And I'm gonna go ahead and say, start it off at 50. So now our slider is in the very middle. Now let's go ahead and run this and we should hopefully see the values going from one to 100, okay? So launching bullseye, here we go. I'll go ahead and move it over here. And now if you go ahead and do this, now we have from one to 100, fantastic. Now, one thing you notice guys is that the values over here are in decimals, okay? They're .4396.0317. We want integers, we don't want the decimal. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna round this value and we're gonna go ahead and say that we want it to be an integer. We don't want it to be um, basically a float. So the way you can do that is by importing foundation, okay? Foundation is a framework in Xcode, it's a framework in iOS and it has a variety of functions. And one of those functions is called the round function, okay? So what we can do is now, if you just print out round num slider dot value, it's gonna go ahead and round that value up. So we don't have to print this out now, let's go ahead and update the value of our label. So num label dot text should be equal to round num slider dot value. And then let's go ahead and put this in quotation marks like we've done before, put this in brackets over here and over here and fantastic. So numlabel.txt is equal to, again, in quotation marks, this variable value. And now if we go ahead and run this, I forgot a bracket there, whoops. Let me go ahead and add that in. Now if you go ahead and run this, we're gonna go ahead and see that every single time we move our slider, we get the label to be updated. So over here, 41, 14, 
68, 82, fantastic. So in this video, we covered playing around with the slider, how a slider works, adding it to our controller, and getting the results of the value from the slider and updating our label. Fantastic job, guys. We're again another step closer to creating a bullseye application. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.